Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to see how we can add data filtration in our Looker dashboard and reflect data based on our data selection via filtration in setup. So this filtration in the setup section helps you to select single or multiple values and reflect data based on your requirement at a particular visualization level of your dashboard and your dashboard will react and reflect the data based on the filtration which we have applied. So as you can see over here we have a graph and we have a table. Now suppose if I want to apply filtration of this graph where I just want to show this trend when the year value is greater than or equal to 2000. Similarly, if I want to do that for the same table, how I can do that? So, if you want to add filtration on different visualization widget, then you have to create filtration at the widget level. So, what I need to do over here is that I need to click on edit first. Then specifically, I have to select this graph. Within this setup section, I have to go down. And you can see over here, I have an option says filter. This is a line chart filter. I have to click on add a filter. Then I have to click on create a filter. Then the first thing that I need to do is that I need to give the name of the filter so that whenever you open this dashboard in future and you have to edit something, you can see what filtration you have applied and what does this filter do by just seeing the name. So I'll give filter year now what i need to do is that i need to include those years which are greater than or equal to 2000 so i'll select include over here as you can see i have other option exclude also if i want to exclude something then i can use this exclude so i'll select include then i'll select a field so my field is this year month and then i have to select a condition so as you can see in my raw data which is over here in this google sheet this month year is just year it contains only year and it's in numeric format that's why this condition gives me this option like equal to between greater than or equal to greater than or less than equal to less than and is null when you have a field which is string or categorical data as a field then you will have other options such as equal to contains start with regular expression match regular expression contain in and is null so for us we have to apply filter on month here then i'll select greater than or equal to and i'll give the value 2000 so from 2000 onward i want to see data on my graph then i'll click on save okay so as you can see from here my graph is showing data for 2012 2019 2005 although it has not been like sorted in month here so we have applied the filter now suppose if i want to edit this filter then i have to click over here okay and i can edit this filter now now suppose i want to include certain values and exclude and also want to exclude certain values then how can i do that i have to click on and so you have an option of adding another condition so what i'll say exclude month and year which is greater than or equal to 2010 okay and then i'll click on save now you will see that you have excluded something from your graph as well as you have included something in your graph based on your filtration so this is how you create filter on your graph similarly you can add a filtration on your table also if these two visualization on your page or different visualization on your page is created from a single data source then you can reuse that filtration which you have applied or the filter which you have applied which is this filter year now if I select this filter here for this table, you will see that I have the same year inclusion as well as exclusion. Now if you have different data source for different visualization widgets, then you have to 
specifically create filtration for those visualization widgets so this is how basically you can create a filter and apply filter at a graph chart pivot or tables or whatever visualization widgets you have on your looker dashboard so happy learning and see you in the next video